Welcome to Seal Point Academy. We will talk about computer applications in this lecture. Let us revisit our CPU, the hardware lecture that we had. The CPU, the hardware, let's put inside a box here for now. We have the network card, right? We have the games, 3D games card. We have several devices within the hardware. We also talked about the operating system that runs the or drives the hardware, right? The user is here. Right? The user has no permission to talk to the hardware directly. It just cannot do that. If it does it, what would happen? You would break the whole thing and your system will crash. So there are secured ways to access the net the hardware devices. So the in order to access the network, the operating system provides certain functions called libraries. That you have, if you use those functions, your computer will not crash. Similarly, for 3D graphics, if you send some commands to draw certain geometric figures, these functions will do for you. If you tell them to draw a rectangle, they will do for you on the screen. If you instruct to draw a triangle, they do it for you. And so the user cannot access this hardware directly, right? So we'll just remove them for now. They cannot do it. So go back to if you were to write an application, you got to write here. It is. You got to write here. The application, when you write, you would utilize these functions. If you want to use a game, you will use a 3D functions. If the application is just a simple let's say a browser you are writing a new browser you are uh, tired of uh, the internet explorer chrome firefox whatever safari and you want to write a new application a browser for instance you would use the network capabilities right because the uh, when uh, the user types a url on your browser www.yahoo.com in your new browser your browser would take that value that request talks to the operating system which in turn nothing but talking to the library the library will call the appropriate network functions internet functions so this is connected to the network internet right it would talk send the data to the net internet somewhere the yahoo servers will pick up will send the data back to the network card a network card knows that it has to return the data back to the to the library the library will in turn gives back to the application right and shows the results to the user so the user has no access to the hardware but he has access to the application. The application does the job for him. It has to go through several layers to send the data and when to receive back the data, the same network card is involved and the library has a lot of functions and 
the appropriate function would give the data back to the application and the user for the user to see similarly you are writing an ang angry bird application it's a game the user has has no capability to write the game uh, what you call the complicated uh, functions so the application would write uh, access the libraries that the operating system provides right to draw a rectangle to draw a uh, what you call the geometric figures and it does the 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 magic to show it on the display for you right and sends it back to the library to the application for the user to see so this is how you write application there are a lot of applications in the market that people write they are all stay in between the operating system and the user you have microsoft word application right the microsoft word that we all use for our for writing documents and reports so and you have a powerpoint we do powerpoint right so all these applications are called applications they reside between operating system and the user we have the uh, email if you have a outlook exchange or whatever that is is another application that again resides between the operating system and the user okay so the application is written in a language it could be a c language c++ java whatever that is and it's compiled it's executed and it it sits on top of the, op, the op, on top of the operating system when we say on top of the operating system it's only for explanation in other words it always talks to the operating system and the libraries that the operating system provides for it to perform an action okay thank you